Upstate Films has gained the reputation mm -hmm. as the venue for the hard to find, the overlooked, mm -hmm. and the controversial. By consistently emphasizing the development of an audience searching for an alternative to mainstream cinema. Where's the edge? What's mainstream and what's not mainstream? Film's a mysterious thing. Of the 700 plus screenings per year, Upstate brings films which are rarely screened in this country, much less in a semi-rural area, and they aim to place film in a larger, richer context connected to the rest of society and culture. I don't consider uh, a movie a film unless it's bigger than I am. I'm not very big, I'm only like 5'6", but you know, the image needs to be big and the sound needs to be deep and good. and and then it takes you somewhere else, and I think it's magical. Since its inception in the early 70s, Upstate's programming has reflected the diversity of film culture, showcasing independent, international, documentary, artistically enduring U.S. and foreign language classics, and even silent films. There's still a great demand for, for whatever you want to, content, I guess is what it's known as. Content, content. But where and how it's delivered is a whole other thing. When the wave of independent features took off in the early 1980s, Upstate was the showcase. However, a multiplex building boom soon added thousands of screens competing for an audience. The home video explosion also provided potential filmgoers reasons to stay at home. Movies are delivered so many different ways, sort of like print and film and music. It's an uphill battle to get people to actually take their faces and noses out of their cell phones and their whatever digital gizmos and get in a car and, or walk to a movie theater and see a movie. And yet somehow, Upstate Films weathered all of these storms. We're not a candy store, meaning the, the multiplexes can get people in and hope that they'll fork over the bucks for the stuff that they sell. We try to sell organic chocolate, organic coffee, locally fair trade. You're the neighborhood movie theater. We're, we're the neighborhood movie theater that's trying to do the, sort of the right thing and be fair to the world and fair to our customers. I'm always amazed by the people who say, and there are a lot of people like this who say, I don't want to see that movie, it sounds depressing. And my standard line to the people when I work here is I would say, yes, it's extremely depressing, but you'll be so glad you're you and in your life that you'll feel good. It's like, wow, look what those people go through. Upstate has always demonstrated a commitment to film as a medium of social communication and aesthetic experience through their eclectic mix of cinema, which in the course of any particular year focuses on themes, issues, and regions, making it a programming bellwether and a true sign of the times. We've often been like involved, at least filmically, with issues and things that are happening in the world and that are sometimes critical of the things that are happening in in our world and, and our leaders and you know. your feet won't stick to the floor there won't be a lot of noise bothering you while you watch the movie do come on a Saturday night but come early because it can get crowded film is and always will be an important vehicle for communicating a message And that makes Upstate Films an off-ramp on the information highway. That's your uh, little journey into film.